All right. So, um, guys, what's up? I um, I wanted to put together a little video to help explain how this whole scripting works uh, to assign keys to the track IR accesses. And um, the first thing I wanted to do was actually pay homage to um, this one guy, I guess, like way back when or something. Um, he created this program. It's called Track Mapper, which actually does exactly what I'm have accomplished through um, uh, GlovePy. Uh, but he created this program way back when for um, different flight simulator games. Uh, the program claims to only work with up to XP, but it actually does work in uh, Windows 10. The only problem is that um, it was built to work with Track IR 1 and Track IR 2, which only supported two two degrees of freedom, which is pitch and yaw. Um, yeah, pitch and yaw. So it really doesn't help us when it comes to leaning, unless, I mean, if you want to use pitch or yaw, you could probably very easily use this program to assign a function uh, to looking left and right uh, and just do a key, and that would work. I, I haven't tested it, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. Um, so, but yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So we're just gonna set that set that aside here, and we'll just kind of get right to figuring out how our stuff works and how to get it to work. All right, so we've got our track IR window here, and I'm just gonna recenter uh, my track IR. And the first thing that we'll do is we're creating a custom profile for whatever game you're playing. Um, I've got Rainbow Six Siege. And we're working with what I've set up so far is the roll axis and the X axis. And the roll is when you rotate your head uh, left and right in a rolling function. Uh, the X axis is when you slide your head to the right and the left. Okay, I personally, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm going to like the, the sliding function a little bit better doesn't cause as much strain on your neck as uh, as the roll does after a while. <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to create a curve that has a dead zone. You can see right here when I start to shift my head you can see it move but it doesn't pick up until uh, about 0.9 is what I have it set at and when it's mirrored it'll be 0.9 and negative 0.9 you can see there's there's a little bit of dead zone and once it hits that spot it'll pick up input and uh, you will you'll be able to adjust the actual sensitivity um, in the script of GlovePy to get it to, to react quicker or not quite as quick um, but I feel like this dead zone space is is pretty good or it feels comfortable to me um, you can just set the all the other points. Doesn't really matter where these points are uh, in relation to spacing. They just need to go out to about 30 degrees. You're not gonna move your head that far. You're not gonna go like way out here and just hold your head out there. So, but they just need to all be on the same level, so you don't get accidental clipping back and then it'll go back in the dead zone. So, once you've already gotten this set up, then you're gonna bring up Glove Pie. Let's bring this over here, and um, I'm the first one that I'll show you is the roll that's actually on the uh, on the repository that I have up now, and I'm going to be uploading the X axis. Uh, it works a little bit different uh, in the scripting. It took me a good little minute to figure out how to get it to work, but um, I finally got it to to work. It's it just measures the axis values differently. Um, the pitch, yaw, and roll, it just measures in uh, de degrees. And then I guess X, Y, and Z, it measures in CM, which I'm guessing is centimeters. Um, but that's how it works. So we've loaded up our, our script into GlovePy. And all we have to do now is uh, hit run. And it, for some reason, it makes track IR just minimize. But we're just going to bring it back up here. And we're going to look at the uh, the roll axis. 
you can see it's it's basically the same curve. So and to test that this works, we'll just click down here in our text window. So when I roll my head to the right, I should get a keyboard function. And if I hold it, well, it's supposed to hold. <laughs> Okay, not quite sure why that one's not working. Maybe I change this. Uh, yeah, not quite sure why that's not working completely. Um, hold on. Let's load up. I think I may have. I think I may have changed that when I was working on this X. Possibly, possibly. All right, let's go to X. <laughs> I know I'm building confidence in you working with this right now. So, all right. So let's just let's try the X because I think I did change that. I think I have to recopy the uh, the scripting over from the site. I think I might have edited that that file. All right. So we're just recentered now. This is the X axis. It will it will measure and take these these keyboard instructions from this axis right here. So now if I hit run. All right, click in here. So now it what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to hold the key. There we go. So it should just keep holding the key. And when I move to the left, it'll keep holding the key. So when you set the hold function in whatever game you have instead of toggle, as long as you keep your head off to the side, it's going to always it'll keep you leaned. And as soon as you go back to the center, it'll stop your lean. And you can jump to the left and right, stuff like that. So, and you can uh, you can adjust the sensitivity with this uh, by adjusting this numerical value here. Uh, the the lower it is, the quicker it will react. Uh, the higher it, it gives you a little bit more dead zone room, uh, up to 20 because that's what we have our our limit capped at but I really don't even I don't think you're gonna need it that fast it's that would be it just when it gets to using the dead zone it's really hard that once you move your head to the right in game it's really hard to snap back to the center because your character would just like constantly it'll be very difficult to keep him from leaning left and right just while you're moving or like little minute head adjustments and stuff like that so, yeah. So that's that. And like I say, I'm not quite sure why the roll is not working. Um, I changed something. Obviously, I changed something to cause it to not work. Um, because it should work. But it is not working. So if I roll my head, okay, see, that's weird. It's working now. Okay, I, I have no clue why it wasn't working earlier, but it, it's doing what it's supposed to now. So basically the same thing. I have the roll function on the head. And you see, as, as long as you hold your head there, it, it presses down that key. Hold it to the right, presses down that key. When you go back to dead zone, it stops. So it's real simple. Um, it's just... The fine tuning of the dead zone is is really going to be the most important part in trying to figure out you know what's comfortable for for you uh, while you're playing the game. You know, just play around with it, see what you can come up with. If you think you have the sweet spot or whatever, uh, shoot shoot me your uh, your setup because I'd love to try it out. Um, like I say, just kind of made this code and I uh, have started testing it over the last two days. So that's pretty much it. Uh, good luck with your setups, and uh, hopefully, you know, you can use this and help you immerse yourself into the game a little bit more because it really is awesome when you're when you're clearing rooms. Instead of having to hit a button, you just, you know what you want to do. You want to peek around the corner and somebody starts shooting at you. I mean, there's no quicker reaction than peeking your head around and, oh, God, you're getting shot at, and you just kind of jump back. So it's really cool. Um, I've cleared a couple of rooms with it, but like I said, it hasn't been fine-tuned uh, like I'd like it to be. Um, but, yeah.
So that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and good luck. All right, bye.